Hey guys, uh, welcome to my extended deck tech on the Vi Cor Corina. I, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna admit it. Um, if you find some value in this video or it helped you out, or if you really like the deck, uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that stuff. I'm just starting out on YouTube, um, so anything that would be of help is great, greatly appreciated. Um, and I'd, I'd love to get to know you guys and build a community and all that great stuff. Um, today we're going over this, um, you know, Vi Corina. I think I already said that deck. By Corina deck um, with Elise and Vi as the new main champions here. Uh, and then, so uh, the. I have some notes on the side here I'm going to read off so I don't. Make sure I didn't miss anything uh, I wanted to say. Um, so, the kind of the pros of this deck uh, is it, it kind of wins quite heavily against kind of those Nox P and Z lists that um, are kind of wrecking the ladder right now. The deck is um, very, very popular. Um, so you, you run into this matchup a lot, and uh, you, you you heal more than they can damage out, deal out and damage often, um, and you get to remove their threats while healing, and it's kind of just the worst of both worlds for them. Um, yeah, so it's a, a fairly easy deck too. You kind of just kill things and heal up, and uh, there's very little nuances in my opinion to the deck. Um, pretty easy. Um, but it's not like the easiest thing in the world. Like you do have to be patient with the deck. Like you, um, but you end up kind of just uh, blowing them out in one turn, oftentimes. Um, so there's not often a current corner to turn. You kind of just kill them. <laughs> so um, a reminder that uh, Corina will hit the enemy nexus because uh, it is all enemies. So it hits all their minions and their nexus as well. So like if you hit. Um, four out of the five cards, you go four to the minions and four, and it's just enemy minions as well. Just four to the enemy minions, four to the nexus. Um, I don't flip Vi too often in this deck. I, I do with Elise because we have the uh, the Brood Awakening, uh, but I don't flip Vi very often. Um, and when I do, it's often just in some matchups that um, I'll flip her. Um, it's not the, the biggest deal in the world either if you don't. Um, it's another way to end the game but it, it isn't often a way you are ending the game um i think the only the biggest con to this deck that i found is i have a, a abysmal time against bannerman um we are currently not running the ruin nation and i think the deck needs it to um combat bannerman but i i'm really not seeing it that much on ladder um so i'm not that worried about it um personally I, I, it, the, the matchup's like a 40-60, so I, I'm fine not running it and just trying to get my, my own game plan out there and um, hopefully stabilizing enough, but it is really hard to stabilize against their like um, dudes that'll come back more than once and like four health is a little hard to deal with if, if we aren't getting um, Corina and oftentimes she's just too late for when they They've gone wide and slapped down on Bannerman, and then their whole board's buffed, and yeah, so um, that is a rough matchup, but otherwise, I, I really like the deck, um, so let's get into a few games. All right, what are we facing? Piltovern Zone, Shadow Isles. I think we actually have a mirror match here. Um, what do we want? We want the Atrocity in the mirror. Withering Whale is good for the spiders. Keep a Mystic Shot. Uh, I don't think I need a grab. Well, it might be nice for Elise. Yeah, this is a decent hand. Yeah, we're both just passing. Wow, neither of us has done anything for the first four turns. <laughs>
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. I'm going to start burning cars here soon. And at this point, I might as well just mystic shot him. That gives me something to react to. So I don't have to just burn Mystic Shot. Get the game audio back in here. So you have something for YouTube to listen to. All right, so he's got Vi down. Could just play one of these next turn. Honor. Oh wait, he's gonna attack actually. Yeah, we just take the four. It's whatever. Not that big a deal. So how you guys doing? Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're uh, doing well. Uh, anything you wanna chat about, I'll chat about down there with you. Um, any questions you have about the deck, I'd love to talk to you about that. Um, yeah, hopefully I can answer a bunch of stuff as uh, we go, as things come up. Um, otherwise, just uh, I'm just hanging out, been just quarantined myself and. Still working from home, thankfully. Um, thankfully, my job can be done remotely for the most part. Got to go in and uh, got to go in a couple days a week. Usually just one. Um, but yeah, things are going good for me. So. Okay. So. We are now in the Ligorush stalemate. Because whoever goes first in playing the atrocity is the loser. So it's a bit of a uh, game of cat and mouse here almost.
king. If he just attacks here, I play a grasp, the heal, and then Vi. Specifically this Vi. Or maybe this Vi, because this Vi will be at five. And then I can just chuck her at the next his nexus. Okay. So I think we win. Because he burnt all his mana, and he'll have no answer to this. I'm doing this my way. Fuck. Oh, frick, am I an idiot? I am an idiot. I didn't have enough mana for that. Oh, crap! It's okay. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. I was an idiot for thinking the path I thought, but the the thought I had was right. the the the, plat, the path I paid the the path I played was correct. Words are hard. <laughs> All right. Um, Man, I really wish I had some banked mana. So he has to respond with his, right? have to wait until we are the ones who finish the mana trade. Oh, he has two. I'm in his hand. think in response to that we just kill him I'll heal for extra measure <laughs> So you play the mirror. It's 
an important one to know. I think this deck is uh, real good. I think uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of it. So, yeah, watch my channel. You saw it here first. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Love to talk to you down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the deck, and uh, if you're going to play it, or if you hate playing against it, just want to know how to play against it yourself. Play Bannerman. <laughs> Alright. Twisted Fake Gangplank. I don't know off the top of my deck what he's playing. Off the top of my deck. Top of my head. Um, what he's playing. I can't imagine it's very fast, right? Maybe it is, though. He's playing a version of, like, keg control stuff. Hmm. I think... Yeah, we could probably throw these. I'll keep these two. They're the safer bets. If we playing aggro, those two would be just dead cards. Uh, yeah, I'm just passing. Always got something special. Um, do I care? I don't care yet. I can just bank this mana. Okay, you don't have a great way to use her. That's good for me. Let's go like this. This dude's name, though. Real classy. I just feel the make it rain coming if I play this. Yeah. Let's just do this. Do I care? Just a little, but not enough. I think I'm the one who should be on the defensive. Let's keep a blocker here. Yeah, it seems like the spider package is just like the best way to stop aggro at the moment. this attack.
I could just tank the five damage and then kill him. But that doesn't seem smart. I'll block here and set up for the Withering Whale. Ooh, but then that gives that plus three attack, but then I'll have to Mystic Shot it, which isn't that big of a deal. So maybe I should wait a turn on it. So that I have the mana to do so. No. No. No drop for you. Yeah, that, that was important. Denying those draws. Slowing them down. Bird Awakening here. He was trying to get rid of the keg, so I'm guessing he doesn't have many removal options. If he does, it's not that punishing. Okay, that's fine. I'll bank this mana. Be on my way. Kind of coming flat on draws, which hasn't really happened to me much with this deck. Usually I have something. The good thing here we're about what we're playing here is we don't have to worry about Twisted Fate hardly at all. Like, he has impact when he comes down, but like, he's never getting the draw off him. Spider. That's fine. That's no big deal. He got me on a 20 turn clock. I feel like I should just nuke that thing. I got time to deal with GP. Yes, yeah, so he's been like a variety of keg control. Without the Elise, I guess. So he has another GP in his hand? Why did it tell me that? Coward. Oh, because he played the one he didn't draw. Well, that's how you do with that, I guess. That's all the GPs then, right? So I killed one early, killed one there, killed one here. Ooh, 
Ooh, this is gonna kill her. So I might as well go like this, right? I will gladly take this top deck war. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at least I get the better end of this one. Answers, and I need them now. <laughs> you dare. I found an answer. <laughs> Should have pulled that in. Now that I'm thinking about it. Gosh. I 
I have to block here. Watch me totally whiff this. Oh my god. I hit both of them. That is so unlucky. This is a very strange run of this. I do not want to attack here. Probably best that I don't have him play him again. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I have blockers for a while. I am buying myself time. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Top deck both of them one after another. Elise can't block him. He took the bait. We live another turn. Oh, I only have three cards left in my deck. Did he just kill himself? I forgot about the, the keg interaction. Crap. Alright, so this guy's like an OTK deck. With the Zed. He's gonna buff him up.
That seems fine. Well, I'm gonna get hit, so I might as well cushion the blow here, I guess. Is that a burst spell standalone? It is. Just gonna attack with everything but Elise here. Don't see myself getting too punished by this. So he blocks here, then I just kill it next turn. Oh, I should have attacked with the least, then I could just kill him. Ah. Cheeky. The odds he has two of those standalones. Frick. Red strike hard. Nothing I can do about this? Yeah, I should have just went balls to the walls, I guess. Dang. Well, misplayed by me. This is like that buff deck. I don't want that. They're pretty tanky, so I don't need this.
He can't block it, so. Spank the mana. Is this worth? I don't think it is. I have other ways to deal with her. Let me just see what she does. Ugh. These draws are kind of oof. I'm going to hold blockers. Before this gets out of hand. Dang, how did I get this gun? Was it from this guy? Yeah. Let's see if he plays anything else first. And I, I'm fine if we just pass this turn. I'll hunt them where they breed. Okay. Bank the mana. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable just blowing this here. I've got a lot of removal. Fortune favors the bold. Mm 
down to five, or it could be at eight. I'm more comfortable at eight. You buy that first. Gotta go with the flow. Um, let's do how many cards do I have left? That might be an issue. Okay, let's do this again. At least I can block it with this one. Play. First time I see you damage enemy next to each round, plus battle enemies. Okay. I can just block it here. Okay, well that was freaking rude. I didn't think that would work. Oh, come on, me. Okay, well, our results didn't turn out too well, but we did get kind of unlucky. I promise the deck is good. Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, it really helps me out as I'm just starting my channel. Um, I hope to see you in another video, and uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. See you later.